So I've always wanted to make an app for Kona for the amount of time that I spend with him and the fact that he's been my dog for six years, my number one user, my number one fan, my boy who's never really ever used technology before. I don't know, I figured it would be kind of fun to make something like that because I don't think he's gonna know what the heck to do with it basically. So today we're gonna build an app for Kona but first, I have to figure out what the heck to even build him because, I mean, the worlds are oyster, but also Kona's abilities are a little bit limited because he is a dog. But I think there are some real opportunities to create customer delight and joy and give him something that he didn't even know he needed. But first, let's meet my dog, Kona. Kona is six years old and we adopted him as a puppy from a rescue group in San Diego. His breed is kind of like a little mix of everything. We adopted him from an Australian Shepherd group, but it turns out he's like 6% of every dog breed that's out there. Kona loves walks, he loves treats, he loves pets. He dislikes the water and anything that makes him uncomfortable. And before we keep going, I want to say thank you to Code Academy for sponsoring today's video. So Code Academy I feel like is such a favorite within the community so I'm really excited to work with them as a sponsor. For those of you who don't know, it's like the easiest platform to learn how to code especially for beginners. A lot of people recommend this platform as a great way to get started in coding in case you want to also make an app for your dog maybe. I mean, in terms of starting to learn how to code, Codecademy's got it all. They have a community of over 45 million learners and they also have a weekly goal setting tool and 30 day challenges to help you stay motivated in your learning. You can choose courses based on specific skills and career paths, especially at a time where tech and coding skills are super high in demand within the job market. Code Academy has a lot of courses, especially when it comes to full stack web development. And they even have a course to help you pass a technical interview with Java. And if you want to build your own app like I am, they've got an incredible course for Swift on iOS and Kotlin on Android. They've also got resources for learning and brushing up on fundamental computer science concepts that underlie all of these technologies. They've got cheat sheets, they've got articles, they've got videos, and they also have an incredible community where you can go and ask questions. Just looking through the website, y'all, I think it's just a great one-stop shop for really high quality content about learning how to code. It is really cool that there's even a website that consolidates all these different technologies into these really great interactive courses even. This fall, Codecademy is showing support for students during COVID time by launching its first ever student membership. Basically, students can receive full access to Codecademy's pro plan at a discounted price. And in this effort, they've got a digital student center and community-led chapters for college campuses. So make sure to go to this link, it's also linked to the description box below to see how you can unlock all of this at Codecademy. Thank you so much to Codecademy for sponsoring and now let's get back to the video. Scott, I'm thinking of making an app for Kona. What's that? I don't know, I was gonna ask you, what kind of app do you think I should make? Sleep tracker. Sleep tracker? <laughs> Track how much Kona sleeps? Mm -hmm. He does sleep a lot. He does sleep. But that would mean that we would use it to track his sleep. Wouldn't it be cool if he interacted with the app, like he was the user? Yeah, that'd be cool. What kind of app do you think would be cool? A walk time app. A it walk time would, app? Yeah, like he would press a button at the door, and or when he wants to go outside, and it would send us a notification. <laughs> oh man. How many times do you think he would press that in a day? Twice. Twice? I think you only press it twice a day. I think that's a pretty solid idea. So after consulting with my co-owner, uh, co-product manager, Scott, yeah, I think an app that would allow Kona to tell us when he wants to go on a walk could be pretty compelling. Uh, if we're talking about it from like a user's perspective, AKA Kona, then it is definitely very delightful and it helps him to communicate in a way that uh, he's never been able to communicate before. So, you know, number one, giving the user what they don't know they need, but they do need. And then number two, customer delight. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So then like any good app developer, I decided to start sketching out ideas and writing what the requirements would be for this app. <laughs> this is so silly. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. How would you like an app where you can tell me and Scott when you need a walk. Is that something that would interest you? How do you feel about that user experience? What do you think? 
you don't really care. <laughs> Now that I had a basic design, I had to do like a quick user research session with Kona to decide whether to build the dog part of the app on an iPhone or an iPad. So I tested to see what he was more comfortable using. Excuse me, sir, we haven't finished user testing. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ex oh, Scott, my user ran away. Well, you don't pay your user testers <laughs> then. But I don't think Kona's gonna want an Amazon gift card. So because this app is just for one user, I kind of wanted to go above and beyond in this experience for Kona. So I recruited my brother Ray, who's a UX designer, to help. I'm gonna make an app for Kona, and I was yeah. wondering if you'd be down to make designs for it. <laughs> yeah, I can help on taking this one though. Do you really need my help for that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to teach you how to draw a circle? <laughs> I need I need a designer's touch, okay? Yeah. Well, okay, I can I can do that. He sent me the designs the next day and without spoiling anything about how it looks, this is my reaction to seeing the designs he worked on. And so then I spent some time over a couple of days to build the app. Okay, so I spent more time than I thought uh, coding everything, but I also did learn a couple of new things. But the Kona side of the app is basically ready to go. So I am going to train him to try to use it basically. Like this guy has no idea how to use an iPad. So I gotta do a little bit of tree training. So let's do that and hope that all of my efforts have not been wasted. I literally bought some training treats for Kona for this app. And so here's me doing a method of dog training called shaping to try to get him to touch the iPad. Kona's actually very sensitive about his paws. Like he doesn't really like me even touching them to begin with. So it definitely takes some time to get him closer and closer to touching the iPad, but we eventually got there. Yes, Kona! We really need to go outside. I don't know, I think you got it. I'm gonna try to attach this to just the walkies thing now, okay? Yes, good boy, good boy. We're going again, we're going again, come on, come on. Do you wanna go again? He was starting to feel more like he could trust the iPad, so here I am kind of reinforcing his trust and the behavior. I feel like he's actually getting kind of tired, but I don't know, maybe he has like a couple more left in him to go walkies. Let's see if he'll just do it on his own. Do you wanna go walkies? Hit the button. Something tells me it hasn't quite solidified. Oh. Walkies. <gasps> yes, good boy. All right, so I'd say that that was a pretty, like, that was a success. He can touch the button. I think he sees it too. Um, my brother made sure that it was a very, like, high contrast color that he could see. I think he's starting to get it a little bit. I think we have to keep working on it, but we're gonna take a little break. But I am gonna see if those walkies all came onto my phone, because there's a phone aspect of this. Yo! I think that worked. Yo, it worked. Kona, the app here is telling me that you really need to go outside and that you demanded walkies now at 3.49 p.m. Is that right? <laughs> I think he's tired. What do you think of your new app? I would like to ask for your user feedback. What do you think so far? Good app so far? Yeah, you like it so far, Bobby? Well, 
So now that I know that it's kind of worked, I think I might make a couple of tweaks, like make the button a little bit bigger and uh, only play one audio clip at a time. I wanted to show you and tell you kind of how I built it. It's still definitely rough, but uh, I built everything on iOS using the standard iOS SDK. This is the iPad side of it. It's actually just one app. And then if it's on iPad, it'll show this. If it's on iPhone, it'll show this. So this is just one giant button. You tap it, it changes color. Walkies, please. And it plays. Can we get walkies soon? A variety. Walkies, please. Of audios. I want a walkies. Which really is just like on every tap event, I choose a random number from one through six and then I play that audio clip. But yeah, it's, it's super basic. I really need to go outside. So every time that gets tapped, it shows up as a log right here. So this is the iPhone version of things. Um, I built this using SwiftUI because I've been using SwiftUI for a while and for certain things like this, it is easier to build using SwiftUI than the regular iOS stuff. Not to bore you with the details, but so there's just the header and then the list and the list is scrollable. For the back end, I ended up using Firebase for the first time. I needed something that communicates these devices to each other and so I was looking for a really simple back-end solution. I found Firebase. It was stupidly easy. I didn't have to really implement any sort of networking calls. All I had to do was just like add some values to something and then it shows up. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how that turned out. It was a good chance to learn how to use Firebase. So this is pulling from the internet there's a lot of requests there because I was testing things earlier. You see that? You can see the timestamp and the messages as well as these little cute icons of Kona requesting his walks. So I'd say this is a success. I'm pretty happy about how this turned out to be honest. Anyway, I hope you like watching this video. I'm gonna put all this code up on GitHub. It's gonna be open source, y'all can look at it. It's not gonna be on the App Store though, just because I feel like it needs a little bit more polish to get there. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these kinds of videos where I just like make random apps, which you know, I've always actually wanted to do stuff like this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what other apps I should develop that are silly and really have no purpose or value in the world, but are just fun things to build. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. I will see you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye!